Okay, the first part of this is kind of complicated, at least for me. <laughs> Here's what we have. We have four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This is divided. In the mixing bowl, we have how much? One and three fourths. One and three quarters, which you can't see, but trust me, it's in there. And then in the uh, in the uh, measuring cup, we have the remainder of the four and a half. Two and three. No, no. Two and three quarter. Right. Something like that. Okay, and we have, you also can't see that, we have two packages of active yeast over there. That is one half cup of milk, of milk half a cup of shortening, half, half a milk. cup of water, two eggs. Well, everything is white, you can't see. And then we have some salt and pepper. Did I forget to mention? You need half a cup of sugar. Add it to the flour that you have in the large mixing bowl, okay? I'm a pit master, so uh, please excuse my hands, but they are clean. Only I can open this. One teaspoon of salt. This is how we do it out on the grill. Just like that. Partially open. I have scissors. So, that's what yeast looks like now. Huh? Oh. Oh, bad joke coming, but I will leave it alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeast. Hope I don't get an infection. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. This is what we call... Uh, the whisker. <laughs> you, just, you just kind of whisk it all together there. Mix it all up. Oh, we're going to heat the water. Water. Mm-hmm. The milk. The milk. And the shortening to about 120 to 130 degrees. I guess for bakers, this is a C spot run, but for me, being a pit master and not having done this in almost 30 years, it's all new. All right. I have my fancy electric egg beater here. Oh, it has to be egg beating? Yes. And they say once you reach uh, 120 to 130, pour the mixture in over yes. the flour. Yep. Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> and then add two eggs. And I'm not sure I can crack eggs. I, I can. Make... Are you? No. Uh... I'm just making a joke. I might have to call uh, Expert Village or watch one of their videos to see how to do this. Oh wait, I can do it. I do not need Expert Village. Or, or buy those uh, cracking eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> you try and try and try, but you just cannot crack an egg. Well, no problem now with the Ron Peel egg beater cracker thing. It says uh, blend this until it's nice and smooth. So just kind of blend this till it's. A nice smooth consistency. Wow, look at that! Whoa, look at that! Hee <laughs> hee, I think it's about, I think it's about done. Yeah. Ice for about an hour. We're going to cover it. Cover it with a... Uh... Just your basic uh, kitchen... The clothes. Claw. Just like that? Just like that. Okay. Hey, here's the part I know. I've got trusty little red, two medium sized onions. I have about a pound of ground beef. Got some cabbage, some organic cabbage out in the store. Salt and pepper. Time for the fun to begin. About a teaspoon of salt. Again, I'm a pit master, so it doesn't matter. And half a teaspoon of pepper, but you know me, I'm probably gonna put more in there because I just love pepper. I can't
cannot have enough. All right, let's go to the kitchen. We'll keep the cabbage separate. We're not gonna add that until uh, just before we're ready to pull everything off the stove. So let's go. And then our fine, fine mixture of yumminess goes in. Just gonna brown the ground beef, caramelize the onions. We're not going to uh, add the cabbage just yet. We'll wait till everything's almost ready to go here. Okay. So when you want to add your cabbage, which is what I'm doing now. Yes. Woohoo! And you want to cook this down till it's. Uh, the recipe says till it gets wilted. I don't like that word. Let's say uh, soft. Tender. Tender. There you go. Soft, tender, or translucent. Love me tender. <laughs> love me sweet. Let me have your rooms. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's been about, uh, what, about 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. And this cabbage is... Cabbage tender. This is the consistency you want with the cabbage. The meat cook. Meat is cooked all the way through, very important. You know all about that. Mm -hmm. The onions are nice and brown and caramelized. It's starting to smell like a runza. All this is, is step four, I think. Just spread a lot of a... No, it's not a lot, a little. Sprinkle. Over yeah. I'm not expert on rolling tozo. So. Neither am I. Pardon I, me. I know nothing about dough. The only thing I know about dough is it tastes good after it's cooked, and it's usually after someone else has cooked it. <laughs> That's the best we could do, right? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll start right down the middle. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. This is optional. Uh, whenever I go to Runza, I always order cheese Runzas. Oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And then about 20 minutes for baking. Right. Okay. And the runzas are going into the Inside. oven. Oh yeah. There you go. I'll wait for 20 minutes. I'm ready. Uh, and Woo -hoo, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. See how big is that? Oh yeah, we made some huge runs of this, but wow. they are going to be Plus. tremendous. Mm, mm. Very, oh, very hot. Them. Look at that. Yum. Ooh, very hot. Mm, 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 mm. That is a run though. Perfect. Actually, this is a little bit better than what you get in the restaurant because it's homemade. Oh, that's good. All right, there you go. I'm